Hello friends and welcome to another video with my face all up on your screen. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, we're, we're already starting things off like that. Let me get my microphone back in place over here. Right. Let me drop down into my announcer voice, tutorial voice. That's I, we gotta figure out a name for this voice. I don't know what it is, but right now I kind of feel like Veronica. Veronica. <laughs> Today we've got another video of painting faces because we all know there is an extreme shortage of videos of people painting their faces on camera. So once again, I'd like to help out with that shortage on the internet. <laughs> You're welcome. And welcome to my other face. Yes, my other very bare, very naked face. Now, once again, I am partnering up with Ipsy for this video and I'm going to be showing you some of the products from this month's glam bag. And that's what I'm gonna use to create this fun look and it's not too hard, so keep watching. <laughs> okay, let's do this. You ever wake up in the morning and you're just feeling really amazing about yourself and everything's great and then you look in the mirror and realize, oh crap, that's what I look like right now. Well, then you think to yourself, what is life? What is happening to me? Is this really what we're doing? So then you're like, oh, let me watch a YouTube tutorial and I can do a really fancy makeup job only to discover that these tutorials are really confusing and they have like the thousand steps and what are you doing here? And what actually is happening in your life. Well, fear not, because this tutorial isn't going to be that disastrous. <laughs> You're welcome. Now first things first, it's all about the prep treatment for the skin, which I like to do the night before. So let's rewind it. This is the Belief Peat Miracle Revital Eye Cream. This is a velvety and nourishing eye treatment that's going to help replenish that skin elasticity and reduce those fine lines. It literally takes the tiniest amount of this product and you just dot it right under those eye sacs there. And if I'm going the extra mile and actually washing my stinky hair for a change, then I'm going to do a hair mask. I'm using the Verb Hydrating Mask. Now this is a weightless conditioning treatment that's designed to nourish all different hair types. And since I feel like I have 10 different hair types growing out of my head at once, it's the perfect kind of thing for me. I really like to concentrate my mask around the roots of the hair and the tips of the hair. And then you're just going to allow that to sit in the hair for about five to 10 minutes after shampooing and then rinse it out and condition. And then I roll it up to go to bed and not before I do a sleeping mask. This is the Sue Donkey Milk Sleep Mask. That's right, I said donkey milk. Turns out it's actually totally kind of amazing. So this is a very luxurious overnight sleeping mask that is going to give you very effective calming and nourishing benefits with that donkey milk for optimal recovery of dry, just ugh, skin. Yes, you guessed it. You literally just slather that all over your face. Don't forget to put it on your neck. The décolletage, décolleté. I don't know how to say that word, but put it there anyway. And then you go to bed. And then when you wake up in the morning, your skin is like ridiculously moisturized and you rinse it off and you are ready to do the makeup. Now let me clarify a couple of basics here when it comes to primers. A lot of people have some confusion. You can use a spray on primer if you want to. That's really just going to help the foundation stick to your face. Or you can use a gel or silicone based one and rub it into the skin and that's actually going to help blur all of those pores and fine lines and all that kind of stuff. Now I like to do my brows before I do the foundation because I can clean up my brows with my foundation and it just keeps everything from like smudging and smearing and moving around if I do them first. Now, I know there will be people in the comments, as usual, who are trolling on my brows and that they're two different shapes, and you know what? I just don't care anymore. So trolls, I welcome you. Bring it on. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and prime those lids. This is really going to help your eyeshadow last and pop. And what people often ignore in tutorials is that they set it with some kind of neutral eyeshadow or powder. So go ahead and set it. Now we're taking a berry shade palette. This is the Urban Decay Cherry Palette. I think that's the name of it. I like to do a medium shade in the crease, crease, the booty crack of the eye. And then I work the darker shades in that outer corner. Take your time with it. Keep blending, small strokes, gets the job done. And now I'm gonna go with a little bit more of a risque shade on the lid. That's right, we're gonna go a little risque. This is the IBY Beauty Eyeshadow in the shade Midnight Sky. This is a highly pigmented, very buttery, super blend 
dependable shade. It's actually infused with rose hip seed oil. The easiest way to work with darker shades is to be consistent and persistent with your blending. Just trust the process, stick with it. I'm using the Pixie by Petra Mesmerizing Mineral Duo in Plum Lace. This mineral formula is going to help reflect light away from imperfections, and then the gem tones are going to help enhance that natural eye color beauty. Wet your brush because that's going to make foils or metallics look a lot more metallic-y, and I'm gonna pack that right into the inner corner and halfway through the lid. Shake it till you make it. Uh, fake it till you shake it. Shake it like your mama made it for you. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but this is our foundation. Now, why I put my foundation on after my eyeshadows? Because I can stamp out the edges of my eyeshadow and clean it up instantly. This is like my go-to, never fail, get that sharp edge on that eyeshadow. So it's a little tip, a little trick for me to you. Get yourself an angled beauty blender and you are good to go. Now get that Picasso, I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> um, put that Picasso placement of your concealers in the usual spots and then go ahead and stamp out that concealer under the eye to help clean it up. And you are ready to set it. Always, I always set my concealer immediately with some powder. I'm using the Dermabullen powder these days. It's been good to me. And then I buff out the rest of my foundation everywhere just to set the face in place, set it and forget it, and bam, you've got, you've got yourself a base face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of that berry shade on the lower part of my lid just to give it some more dimension. And then something a little unexpected. This is the Aurora Intensively Precise Eyeliner in the shade Espresso. Yes, that's right. We're not going pitch black with our eyeliner. Now this has a long lasting ink formula that's gonna give you up to 24 hours of wear and a precision definition for even the sharpest of cat eyes. So don't be afraid. Felt up liners are the easiest if you are new at applying eyeliner, so give these a go. And we're just doing a tiny little cat wing. Then I'm applying a purpley shade to my waterline that's just gonna help make the brown eyes pop. Apply some mascara, some false lashes if you're feeling daring. And uh, we're not looking so bad. She's uh, She pulled that eye look together right now. The face is very flat. We are gonna contour. I like to start with a darker shade in the hollows of the cheek there, and then I buff it out with a lighter shade, a bit of a bronzer shade and then I'm gonna put it all over my alien-sized forehead because my forehead is massive. You know that it is, don't act like it's not. I got a five head, y'all. Sometimes I got a seven head, a six head, but not a four head. Gonna snatch up the sides of the nose a little bit and then we're gonna go with blush. I'm using the Morphe Mini Blush in the shade Spirit. This mini blush is blendable, creamy, and highly pigmented, so just a little touch of it. Now, I don't always wear blush, and just a little kiss of a rosy pinky hue is all that it takes for me. And now it's time for highlighter. I am using the IBY Beauty Highlighter in shade Pink Pearl. So this is a finely milled highlighter that's going to instantly pop your favorite features to create the very radiant texture. I actually really like this highlighter in that it has a bit more of a subtle sheen to it. It's not like that super ba-bam. So for those days, like everyday looks or work looks where you don't need to be seen from outer space, then this kind of highlighter is perfect. Then we're gonna finish it off with the lips, which means we're almost done. See how easy this was? This is the Half Caked Makeup Lip Fondant in Loverboy. So this applies with a mousse-like texture and is going to dry down completely matte and is going to stay put for a long-lasting wear. Yes, those snacks. Mac is looking good, girl, looking good. Now, if you wanna add a little pizzazz, we're gonna go with the gloss over the top. This is the MAC Little Lip Glass in the shade Oh baby. This is designated to be worn on its own or over a lip pencil or a lipstick like I'm doing here. It just gives it that extra, mm, that extra glam feeling. Very easily done too. We like to put those finishing touches on the tips. This is the Pretty Woman Nail Polish in the shade Don't Be Jelly. They honestly have some of the longest wearing nail polishes that I've ever tried. And voila, the face is done. What do you think? Do you like Pretty Easy? Yes, give it a try, yes. Our fall winter makeup looks are coming together. I don't, I honestly don't know why. <laughs> 
I have talked in like 10 different voices for this video, but I hope this was easy for you guys to follow. Once again, thanks to Ipsy and all of the brand partners for the products in this video. And if you guys aren't subscribed to Swoop, which is my new channel, which is where I'm posting all the time. My biggest and funniest and best stuff all the time is on that channel. I will have a link to that in the description of this video and in the top comment of this video. Make sure you head on over there, check it out, subscribe, all of that good stuff, tap the bell, all of the things. Do all of the things for Swoop because we've got a lot coming up for you. I don't know why I keep doing this. It's almost like I'm either just like off with his head or I'm like silver plattering my face. One of the two. All right guys, I love you so very much and I have another video coming up for you before you know it, like maybe tomorrow or yeah, maybe tomorrow. All right guys, I love you guys so much. I will see you on Swoop and here. All right, smooches, Mwah. bye.